Hey, welcome all my YouTube subscribers. Well, this is just kind of a quick update. I'm going to call it the one of the next parts to this camper build. Technically, it will be uh, start sheathing all the walls. I just actually got done doing this wall. I went with, uh, I believe it's 1132, something like that. Uh, I think they call it beadboard siding. I really like this stuff. Uh, see if you can get a better look. If you notice, it's got this like almost like a Wayne Scott type look. I like the look. I think uh, it'll definitely look good on here. Once, as you can see, I mean, this whole side is done sheathed out. I used uh, an, about an inch and inch and a, no, it's an inch and a half nail. Uh, those aren't exactly what it's going to hold it. I'm going with like a, about the same length, if not two inch good quality uh, outdoor screw to hold all this in place uh, because I, I'm just not a fan of nails nails really just to help hold it up because these sheets are the whole reason I use them are these sheets are pretty well lightweight um, it's easy to handle but still kind of bulky as you notice this entire side is actually done Oop, sorry for the ladder it kind of gives you an idea of what I'm going for um, I'm also kind of wanting to change up some of the design ideas on this. I'm going maybe, it's going to be kind of an all-purpose style camper. Uh, survival is going to be one of them, definitely. It's going to be outfitted with a lot of stuff. It's also going to really be like kind of like a little den office for me. Uh, until I actually get the, you put it to practical use, I'm going to be moving it to that part of the yard where that trailer's sitting. All that's my buddy's stuff on in his trailer. I'm asking to move it here, and I'll park it over there. Um, when I have it over there, I can, I'm going to start messing with the solar panels more. Um, I've got one here. I believe I can fit four, maybe five of these units. I want to actually put them on the roof. Same stand, everything. I'm going to modify the, I'm going to modify the back legs. I'm going to actually see what kind of out, outside the dimension PVC it is. Put elbows on the ends and make a bar that goes across. Where I can have like a flat rock or something all there to kind of help hold this unit down so wind don't carry it off. If that kind of works, I'm going to mount four of them on the roof. They'll be mainly for when you're actually stationary, you've got your camp set up, and now it's time to generate some power. Uh, thing, I think this thing, my personal opinion, I think it's starting to look damn good. Now you can see the rough window opening is cut out, the door opening is cut out. And you can just imagine uh, the next video I hope to show, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, that all the walls will be done and hopefully the roof will be sheathed out. Then I can start, there's going to be like a trim here, it's about two inch, two and a half inch, no I'm sorry, two and a half to three inches wide. It's going to be sitting on top of here and here. So we're going to do it like that, like a corner board, have a little, kind of like a little thin fascia board about the same size. So. The weather, uh, I'm sorry, the drip edge will make it curve out and drop the water a little bit away from the actual walls. Still got to go in and seal some of these. Uh, I'm gonna, I have enough time where I can seal uh, the joist, I'm sorry, or the stud walls, I mean, against the sheathing. I'm going to seal it from the inside to try to make a tighter, I don't know how to explain it, kind of like using liquid nail to try to glue it because the, the, the center of the walls aren't nailed down just the outsides so I can kind of push it out put my liquid nail in then come back and screw everything shut I should keep that all that nice and tidy uh, keep vibrations down you know stuff insulate it wire it and hopefully with the roof at least I'll be able to hang out in it until I get uh, you know the inside done out but guys I don't want to make this too long I hope y'all enjoy this video and kind of gives you an idea of what the next steps are to come God bless you all. Thank you for watching. And if you, have, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.